name is Dana Castro and I'm the laboratory manager here at Berkeven Instruments. When it comes to particle sizing by dynamic light scattering, it is well known that the best results come from the cleanest samples. Pesky dust and other contaminants can drastically change measured results, especially for small samples. In this video, I will discuss a standard method to ensure clean samples as well as demonstrate how our software suite, Particle Solutions, can aid with measuring imperfect samples. I'm going to work through a sample of lysozyme in 1 times PBS today. The appropriate amount of lysozyme for the preparation of this sample was already measured and the PBS diluent was properly filtered to ensure no dust or contaminants are due to dirty diluent. As well, all vials and cuvettes were rinsed thoroughly prior to mixing. For measurement, fill a cuvette with prepared sample and place inside the instrument. Fast forwarding to the results, they show a radius of 2.72 nanometers for lysozyme. We see multiple populations, a large one at around 15 nanometers. The effective radius is calculated using all populations detected, so this large population is pushing the radius above the known radius of 1.89 plus or minus 0.025 nanometers. This large population is most likely due to dust and contaminants from the lyophilized powder. This particle solution software can help us with a situation like this. Before we consider physically modifying our sample, under parameters, you'll see we have a dust filter setting, which can be turned on and off, and you can choose the appropriate setting based on the expected size of your sample. If less than 5 nanometers is chosen and the filter is turned on, some of those fluctuations from dust will be eliminated to allow for the desired particle size to be measured. With this filter, the large population peak disappears entirely, and the size drops down a bit to 2.31 nanometers. An important parameter to note is the data retention percentage. With the dust filter on, the data retention rate is 72.22%. That's the percentage of points the software considered to be caused by the actual sample. Because this retention rate is on the low side, this is an indicator that the sample does need to be modified to yield better results. The higher the retention rate, the cleaner the sample, and the more reliable the data. In this case, the contaminants and dust particles can be filtered out. For this sample, the best filter size choice is a 0.02 micron filter. The results for the freshly filtered sample without a dust filter setting on are much better than before filtering, but still have some evidence of larger particles as seen by the count rate history. The measured size is 1.99 nanometers. If the dust filter is turned on in this case, it takes out a few more fluctuations that may be due to stray dust and helps create the perfect measurement. A radius of 1.97 nanometers is measured with a data retention rate of 75.16%. This radius is much smaller than what was measured before physically filtering the sample. There also is a much smaller difference in the size when the filter is on versus when it is off. This is evidence that the sample was clean and only a few dust particles were left to be taken care of by the digital dust filter. Dynamic light scattering measurements are very sensitive to dust and contaminants. Sample preparation is crucial for achieving reliable results, but when there remains hard to get dust or dirt, our software can take care of that easily with the click of a button. Combining both great sample preparation practice and our dust filter option, obtaining repeatable, accurate results is simple. Thanks for watching.